Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn from Vigor and Trim, a health and fitness membership site for people 50 and over, just like you and me. Today, we're at Celebrating Act 2. This is short and sweet, where I show you an exercise tip and a nutritional tip so that you can stay healthy and strong. Today, we're going to work on the back arm right here, right here in these little muscles right here, because when we are rolled over, which we do a lot, and if you want to figure out how to undo that, look at some of those chest stretch exercises that I did earlier. So anyways, when we roll over like this, this gets all weak and worn out, and blue, right? So we want to make it strong so it helps hold us up. Yeah, make us strong and healthy so we can stand up and look good. All right, now I'm going to do this with a band. You don't have to have a band. I'll show you with and without one, actually, so that you can uh, practice it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to bend over. Now you can also stagger your feet. That might be more comfortable. You can place a hand on one of your quads. You always want to hold in your, your core here so that you can hold up your back. Now I'm going to just make my arm what I call ballerina arm. All right. I have a fist here and my palm is turned towards me. And then think of this as being around a barrel. If my arm is around a barrel here, I'm going to lift it up here and make it around a bigger barrel. All right. So I'm leading with my elbow, but I'm just keep swinging the arm from the shoulder. All right. Good. And I'm going to exhale when I do that. So what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to bend and swing out. All right. This doesn't work it. All right. That's a different exercise. <laughs> so we're going to go around the small barrel and the big barrel. Just pull like that. <sighs> Good. Now you can do two at the same time. You don't have to do one at a time. We would do this together. So we have a small barrel, big barrel, small barrel, Big barrel. Okay, and we're going to squeeze back there on those shoulders. Now, if I had a band, I could put it under my foot, stagger my feet, grab the end. Here we go. We're going to small barrel, big barrel, right? Small barrel, big barrel. Good. Just pull that up. And of course, that adds a little more resistance to the work, yeah? Yeah, you better believe it. <laughs> All right. Now, for our nutritional tip today, we're actually going to step off a little bit and we're going to talk about perseverance because that's what gets in the way when we're trying to lose weight or even exercise or do anything. And we get off track and then we get set back and we don't seem to get back on track, right? So I want you to think of this in a little different way. So when you get off track, it's not a failure. Just just try to capture the feedback from that. What What is it that made me go off track? And maybe I can correct that, right? So don't think of it as a failure. And then the next thing you do is start it back up again, right? Don't even ponder about it too long. Just, okay, I missed that, so I'll try it again next time. And you're not a bad person, <laughs> all right? You're okay, just like the rest of us, right? So yeah, yeah, that's how we're going to try to work on maintaining weight loss. For instance, people lose weight and they gain a lot of it back where they haven't figured out how to eat, right? They wanted short, quick fixes. So maybe they haven't evaluated their food correctly and they haven't gotten in their mind how they want to go about this change, all right? Because it is a transformation. So we want to look at these things as... Um, a journey, all right, and we want to be evaluating as we're doing that and just be a little more persistent. Yeah, <laughs> all right, well, I hope that's helpful to you because I get a lot of questions that way, and so I thought I'd share some of those tidbits of information for you, with you too. Well, you know why I do this. This is so that you can stay healthy and strong, so that you can live an active, wonderful life doing the activities that you love. So this is Celebrating Act 2. It's short and sweet. I'm Donna Lynn. We love having you, and we look to see you next week. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.